Hey what's up hello welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and if you're not new here my name is still Emma and that sun is so bright. This is day one of a vlog that's cut or vlog video that's going to be split up into a few parts. I have no idea what I'm calling this but basically I'm giving myself a bit of a makeover so I'm getting my hair cut and getting my hair dyed, getting my eyebrows done, getting my lashes done, might do a bit of nail painting, fake tan, who knows? I'm back home in Auckland as you can see and it's Thursday. But first things first, I'm getting a mighty haircut. I'm kind of thinking maybe like armpit length, kind of. Who knows, we'll find out when we get there. See you guys after I get a haircut. <laughs> a little bit nervous. Okay, you guys, this is a terrible angle. Okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> oh, okay, that was step one, complete. What do you think of my hair? Feels good. <laughs> it's a good length, I like it. Yeah. Does it feel like? Yeah. <laughs> And I am back. It is now the next day. My hair has grown on me. I actually love this length so much. You can kind of see it on the back there. I did have to straighten it this morning, but that's okay. Now it is time for step two. So I'm about to head off to get my eyebrows shaped and tinted and my lashes tinted as well. I haven't had this done in like nearly two months, I think. So it's definitely due. So this is like kind of what we're dealing with at the moment. So I guess that she'll just shape them but get rid of the cute stuff underneath that doesn't belong there i won't film in there because i get really awkward about that because i don't want people to feel like i'm like invading on their privacy and stuff so i will just show you guys the after in three two one and done obviously they're a little bit darker like they'll fade out in the next few days so hopefully by the time you see me in the next clip they should be looking a little bit less in your face you kind of don't realize how bad they are till you get them done also, if you've seen my previous video, you would have seen that I burnt myself with my hair straightener. That's how that's going, but I did have to tell her about that when she was waxing so she could like, avoid it. So, if you have any like, little burns or if you've got sunburned or anything, remember to tell your beautician person before they wax them. This lighting's not the best, but hello guys. Day three. Another day, another step. Today's step, well there's a couple of steps today. The first of them, which I'm about to show you right now, is I just shaved my legs. Obviously I couldn't show you actually shaved my legs because that happens in the shower and that's not appropriate. Since I couldn't show you that, I thought I'd show you something that, what's the word? Pre, not precedes. Proceeds. So I want to share some products with you guys that I've been loving in this video. So. The first of these, this, which I've seen advertised on social media, I've seen it advertised on TV, and I decided to give it a go because, hold up, two seconds. So if you've been running for more than a second, you will know that I'm obsessed with Sarah's Day, meaning that I have her pity parties. This is her natural deodorant that she does with LeBang, it's like a putty. You can see I've used this a lot. I decided, like, just over a month ago, I wanted to make the switch to natural deodorant just because I have very sensitive skin. I have psoriasis, which is basically, you can't really tell, but I'll put some photos in so you guys can see. Um, I'm on a treatment at the moment, which is making it a lot better. My skin grows faster in some places than it should. So my skin, long story short, is very sensitive. So I thought that going to a natural deodorant would help. I know it's better for your body. Try to clean my pores out of like clean aluminium out of my pores because I was just previously using like just normal antiperspirant. I was using this and I found that, I've actually heard other people say this as well, it really irritated my underarms because the consistency of it is kind of like gritty a little bit so it was kind of like I feel like it was just exfoliating my underarms like every day which obviously is not good because you're not supposed to exfoliate every day so I loved it loved the scent loved everything about it except the fact that it irritated my underarms which was not working for me I was really set on this I went through the whole detox period of switching to a natural deodorant using this and it was great but when I saw this being advertised I really wanted to give it a go so I went to the supermarket yesterday and I got it it was $14 um, for a comparison I think this I paid over $50 for three of these and this only lasts me like just over a month so yeah this one's like this and you just roll it up it's kind of weird like I feel like overseas your guys deodorants are shaped like this but in New Zealand they're generally like a ball but anyway so you can see it's like that and it's easier to apply this one you have to put it on your fingers and then put it on your underarms whereas this one you just go straight on um this one my review love the scent I worked out on it this morning was great because I found with pity party sometimes I'll be working out and you could still smell like the BO coming through. This Zero Issues I was doing 
like some cardio stuff. I went for a run, went for a walk. Basically, I was doing over an hour of exercise and I had no issues whatsoever. So far, I'm loving it. Obviously, we haven't really had the chance to irritate my underarms, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. But all the ingredients are like all natural stuff. I can read this and I know what every single thing is, so that's a good sign. So that's that. And also, with my freshly shaven legs, which I haven't shaved in over a week and now it feels fantastic, I want to share with you guys the moisturizer I've been using recently. So you guys know that I work with Ed and I, but primarily I work with them for their tan, but they also sent me out their moisturizer and body oil called After and Always. So if you've got sensitive skin, you will know the struggle of trying every single moisturizer under the sun. We've all been there, we've all done that, and we've it kind of sucks because when you've got sensitive skin, it's really hard to find a moisturizer that works. And there's also, like, you can't just use mainstream stuff because it's going to irritate your skin. Which typically means that your moisturizer doesn't have a scent. And I like things that smell nice. And what I like about this is it's not specifically made for sensitive skin, but because of the ingredients, it, like, I have zero issues with it whatsoever. This together is the most moisturizing product that I've found for my skin. So I only use it on my legs because they're like the driest. I do the after first, which is the body oil. Straight after I go to the shower where my skin's like a little bit moist. I hate that word. And then I'd go over top of it with a little bit of moisturizer to kind of seal it. Yeah, I've been loving that recently. I've been doing that pretty much every morning. And I find that it keeps my legs nice and moisturized for the whole day which is kind of unheard of because previously I'd have to moisturize my legs like three times a day. I do have a discount code for this. You, it is available, I think it's available on North Beach now and also in Selected New Worlds. You can buy this on their website as well and you can use my code EMMA10 for 10% off. That is an affiliate code, so just so you know. But yeah, I'm not being told to say this as well. I just genuinely really, really, really like these products and they are, oh, and with the scent, they smell like chocolate if you wonder. So yeah, I'm gonna put some of this on. Hello guys, what step are we up to now? Four, I think. It's now the same day as it was in the previous clip. However, I'm here for the next step. It's time to tan, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching. Obviously, I can't show the full process because that's a little bit inappropriate. But if you want to see a PG full tanning routine, there is one on my channel, so I'll link that down below. So the tan I'll be using is this one from Edna Body, which is the part-time tan. And then you're probably wondering what this is, right? Well. Wow. Let me tell you, this is a whiskey cacao body scrub, so it's basically like a exfoliating prep type thing that you leave on your skin for 10 minutes prior to showering and then putting this on, basically just get your skin at its peak before you put this on. This is obviously part of what I showed this morning with the after and the always. So the ideal skincare routine for Ed and I is to do the before, put the tan on, leave it on for four hours or sleep in it, wash it off, hop out of the shower, put on some after oil, and then go over that with Always Moisturizer. This is my favorite tan. Again, just like the Always and the After, great for sensitive skin, as is this. Even if I'm not fake tanning, I'll do this like once a week. As you can see, I wasn't blessed with naturally olive tan skin. So uh, that's where Ed and I comes in. They save the day. But I just find when my skin's just not like a sheet of paper, it just gives me a little bit more confidence. As you can see, your girl is a little bit pale. Yes, this exposure and this lighting probably isn't doing me many favours, but this is before, and I'll show you an after tomorrow, after I've washed it off. So it's currently like, I don't even know, 9.30, something like that. I'm gonna chuck on some of this, put in a robe, wait 10 minutes, hop in the shower, wash it off, and pop on some of this. But then I'm gonna sleep in it and wash it off tomorrow, because I just finally get the best results when you sleep in it. Hello guys, it is now Tuesday. I started to update you guys about my tan, but as you can see, it's still on. And what the heck, I look like I've been at a beach for a week. My hair's got waves in it because Tidal Hair sent me one of their hair tools when I was trying yesterday, so that's how that looks. And I really wanted to share it on Instagram, but I haven't told you guys about the fact that I've cut my hair short yet and I knew someone would pick up on it and I want you guys to watch this video. So I'm currently waiting outside my hairdressing place. It's like two minutes into my appointment, so I need to head in. But I just want to update you guys and say I'm here, getting my hair done. I'll put a photo on the screen of kind of what I'm going for. I've wanted this for years. Some of you guys won't remember, but before, like pre-YouTube and everything, I cut my hair literally like this short. Like it was longer than what it was before and I cut it this short. I think it was like 10 inches I cut off. And I donated that to Freedom Hair to make wigs for people with alopecia. And that was before I dyed my hair so I could donate it because it was like completely healthy. And when I cut it short, I wanted to get like an ombre balayage type thing and my hairdresser refused to do it because she said I couldn't maintain it. 
but I've come here because I've been going to the same hairdresser my whole life. So I'm switching it up, coming somewhere in Hamilton because it would just be more handy. So I asked you guys to send me in who you guys, like good hairdressers in Hamilton. And I asked, I asked for Auckland as well, but I thought Hamilton was probably a better deal because like I'm going to be in Hamilton for at least the next two years. So long story short, I ended up going with Victoria James hairdressing on why did he drive? I need to head in, so I'll try to get some clips for you guys, but ah, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm back. They did an amazing job. She took some photos of me, so I'll check those on the screen for you guys now. But wow, my hair dreams have come true. You guys may or may not remember last time I got my hair done, like July. I got a lot of online bullying for that because everyone said I look like a zebra. So we are no longer zebra vibes. We are sophisticated vibes. The lady who did it for me, I think her name was Audrey, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but yeah, she was amazing. So yeah, again, Victoria James hairdressing on Marity Drive. Definitely recommend. And they put some extra product in it for me just to make sure my hair was nice and healthy. They use Olaplex here, which is the shampoo. I don't think I mentioned on YouTube, but my hair was really unhealthy. And I was telling you guys on Instagram, like probably a month or two now ago, how I bought some really expensive shampoo and conditioner and it has changed my hair. Even after the first wash, I noticed how much healthier my hair was. So they use those same products here. I have Victoria James. So that was, that was probably one of the main reasons as well when I looked at their stuff and saw they're using Olaplex. I was like, wow, this is amazing. So yeah, she killed it for me. I never curl my hair, so this looks amazing. I've literally wanted my hair like this for so long, but just haven't done it so if you're wondering what I got it was like an ombre with the Olaplex and I also bought some purple shampoo to help maintain it because the purple shampoo I have at home I don't think is that good so yeah in total including the shampoo which was $44 it came to $322 which is a little bit spinny but um it's nice because the roots like it's blended in so when it grows out it won't be quite so obvious which means that it'll last longer also how long was that in there for I was in there for nearly four hours it was the fastest four hours of my life. All right, well, I need to go get some lunch and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. Like, steppy? Hang on, let me just focus this. Let me let this plane go past. Wow, I just, oh. Um, also, I also, yeah, that is. Hit my hand on the wall. Well, sis, I'm gonna pay my money, so you do what I tell you. I can't even me. No, no, I'm going with this.